Brushes are a key part to every single groom. That's why in today's How To Love video, we are teaching you how to look after your brushes properly. So how to love your brushes. The first step when you are loving your brushes is making sure that you know exactly what brush is used on what type of dog because there's no point in you using a brush that is suited for fine coated dogs or puppies on a really thick doodle coat because your brushes they're just going to get worn down a lot quicker, they're going to need to replace more often and it's going to be more of an expense for you. So I'm going to run down each brush type and what it's suited for. So a firm slicker is really ideal for those thicker, dense coats that are curly, wavy or straight. It can also be used to remove undercoat and double coated braids. A soft slicker is ideal for delicate skin on puppies or small dogs with finer fur. Then you have pin brushes which help to preserve long coats by minimising breakage. They have rounded tips to prevent scratching and skin irritation. Then for combs, a wider tooth comb is suited again for those thicker coats, it's really going to help brush through and a finer comb is suited to those smaller braids, those finer haired dogs, and combs are really good for identifying any knots in the coat. Then you have a coat rack, which can be used on thick double coats, heavy coats, or rustic coats. The teeth are designed to remove dead coat while leaving the top outer coat undisturbed. An undercoat rack contains blades that are set close together to remove the undercoat. They are available in a variety of tooth widths, making them suitable for a wide range of braids. Next up, we have shedding tools such as shed stoppers. These are fantastic for the dogs that need help in the de-shedding process to remove any unwanted undercoat and any flyaways. The second step into looking after your brushes is making sure you give them a great clean and this is after every groom and at the end of the day especially do a deep clean. So we would say after every groom to remove all of the hair from the brush because not only is that going to stop cross contamination of infection from one dog to another but it's also really going to help to just let the brush do what it's supposed to do and let it work as effectively as possible. Then at the end of every day we would say to put it in an antibacterial solution or something that really works with brushes such as your barbicide because that's going to get in there and really get rid of any infections, any bacteria in there and just leave it lovely and clean ready to use for the next day. After you submerge them in that solution for maybe 5-10 to 10 minutes, we would say to pat dry them down and make sure they're nice and dry. And finally, store them somewhere cool because infections really do breed in those warmer climates. So making sure they're in a nice cool space is going to again stop your brushes from getting infected and it's just going to keep them lovely and clean ready to use. Thanks for tuning in to How To Love Your Brushes. If you have any questions or comments, as always, you know to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.